Smoke Screen Podcast is brought to you by Creative Designs and more. It's Creative Designs, the letter N, more. Check out Wanda at Creative Designs and more on Facebook, or you can also check out on TikTok at C Wanda B. That's S E E Wanda B. The letter B, man. I'm going to tell you, y'all see my lighters I have, man. She does a great job. Any kind of party favor you need, come into your party to design it. Just let Wanda handle it, and I bet you she'll make it right for you. I promise you, man. Knock on wood, man. I promise you, dog. I would not lie to you. You ain't never lied to you on smoke screen, man. Make sure you checking out Creative Designs and more, man. Wanda will set you straight. I promise you we'll get you right, man. Make sure you checking it out. And that's for our sponsors for today's episode. All great men must have their moments of relaxation. And the greater the man, the greater the moment. moment. y'all so today we got beef round eye man i tell you dog a good choice on these cuts from kirkland's man from costco i'm gonna tell you bro you might see a little cross video in the day just because i'm doing the beef rib as well today man but let's go ahead and get this one started all right so since we got these nice round eye rolls man these don't have to be rendered or cut or trimmed um, like you saw in the other video, the beef ribs, they're pretty good and, you know, pretty trimmed. Costco does a good job trimming. So, uh, we're just going to go ahead and season these and put these on the grill. Like I said, you might see some cross references cause, uh, cross video because I got my ribs on right now. And we're going to put these on as well. All right, what I'm gonna hit this eye round with, since it's so small, I'm gonna hit it and I don't want it to get dried out. I'm gonna hit it with some Worcester Hill sauce. That's why I call it Worcester Hill sauce, dog. All right, since the eye rounds are so small, like I said, we're gonna put them on the Worcester sauce. And you see, I'm just letting it sit in it, man. Just let it sit in it and soak it all up. Soak it all up, cause it's smoking going low. You don't want it to dry out, man. This thing looking nice and soft already. That's that's what you want, man, before you put it on, man. All right, so today I'm going Texas Post Oak, but I'm gonna use GWP Gourmet Wood products today, man. It's pretty good piece of wood. Pretty good piece of wood here. And of course, you know I love my people at BNB. Better burning. I'm going with the pecan wood today, man. The pecan wood chunks on this good beef ribs. Let's go, man, let's go. Now, one thing I almost forgot who I, before I put this meat on is putting that water in there so I can get that good smoke. Put some water in your pan to get that good smoke, man. All right, y'all. So you know how we do it. We start off with the coal inside the chimney. Then we're going to pour it in here. So let's go ahead and light the coal up. Then once that gets lit for a little bit, then we're going to pour it in here. Like I told you, I'm going to put this wood on here, see how this works. Let me go and just smoke. I might put it cross like that. How y'all think? What y'all think, man? Let me know how you think about this technique. Comment, like, share, subscribe, man. Appreciate y'all for rocking with me. All right. Get a little bit before we put it on. Look at that thing, boy. I want fat side to it, lean side away. Fat side to the fire, lean side away, man. Let it drip down on this. Let's go, man. So early. Hear that one wheel playing in the background. I'm gonna let this drop down, man. I'm gonna let this drop down. You already know, control it with the tilt. Gotta control the tilt this way, man. All right. I like that wood still going strong, man. Holding my tilt good, man. That's pretty good wood. Pretty good wood, man. Let's keep it going. All right, here it is. It's check time, 11.13. Back where we need to be. You see how that drop down where we need to be? Now, one thing. You got to learn on Smoke Screen Podcast, Smoke Meats. If you open it, you ain't smoking it, man. So we want to keep it closed, man. Let it keep it closed. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and spray this roast with some of this apple juice. It's been on for an hour. Let it spray with some apple juice. Just keep it moist, man. Spray it lightly. 
to be moist. Then next time I spray it with some apple cider vinegar. I told you cross videoing, you see the beef ribs going too. But today we're talking about the beef roast on this episode, man. Let's keep it going. Oh, we got a surprise on smoke screen. Smoke's cats is back, baby. Three hours, baby. Let's take a look at them. Okay. Let me go ahead and wrap them. You see that? It's still soft. Bounce to it. More bounce to the ounce, baby. Go ahead and put it wrapped up, man. All right, so I got my roast on. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap my roast up. I'm gonna spray it with Pam first. Then I'm gonna hit it with some of this apple cider vinegar. Also with the apple juice, just to keep it moist. But what I am gonna do as well is season my paper. Cause I'm gonna wrap it. I wanna keep that seasoning on there and make sure that internal flavor is just as good as the outside flavor, man. This is how you do it right here. Smoke free podcast, smoke meat. Got a roast on the smoker, baby. All right, so I got my roast up there. Got my post oak, my pecan wood. Let it finish on off. I know the pecan wood don't really do nothing when it's wrapped up, but I still, I love that smell to it, man. I got a lot of it, so I might as well use a little bit of it. Let's go ahead and keep it going, man. See that roast is not looking real good, man. All right, y'all, we done. That's the roast. I'm gonna go ahead and take it off, cut it down, see what we can get into, man. Smoke screen podcast, smoke meats. Look at that smoke ring. Look at that smoke ring, bro. Look at that smoke. Come on, man. All right, man. Here we are, man, with the smoke beef roast. Here we are on New Year's Day. Got my New Year's Day roast already, man. Got the potatoes, the carrots. Got some green onions, uh, purple onions, uh, got the Vidalia onions, thyme, rosemary. Man, I'm telling you, dog, you know how we do it, man. Smoked meats, man. You're going to get the final plate, man. Also got the black eyed peas, wife cooking the greens, got the yellow rice, cornbread, man. We doing it, man. Smoked meats 2023. I told y'all. Let's go. One more thing. I forgot the mushrooms. How can I forget the mushrooms, man? How can I forget the mushrooms? I don't like mushrooms on pizza, but on some beef, man, with some gravy, you can't beat it. You can't beat it, man. Let's keep it going. Also, what I did was I browned my beef in the pan, and I used the juice from the pan, put a little thyme and rosemary in here, then poured it on in here, too, man. Got it mixed in. I told you, now it's 932. Got it rolling, man. Let's keep it going. Boy, it's going to be good, man. I can't wait for y'all to see it. All right, y'all, here we are, 2 o'clock, man. You see it, I put it on around 8, something, 9, something this morning. Here we are, 2 o'clock, going strong. I told you. Look at, come on, man. That roast looking real good. Real good. Like, wipe me down. Looking real, real good, man. Going to flip it, let it keep going until it tear down. Nice and good. Let me show you something. Let me show you something real quick. And you know that potato, when that potato do this right here, that's all you need to know. One key thing to know when you're cooking a roast in the crock pot, if you know it's going good, taste your broth. Taste the broth. Season just right. Season just right, no salt. We good. Let's keep it going, man. You know, smoke meats, man. We're trying to practice the sides. My wife told me I need to practice my sides and make sure they straight. So here I got some black eyed peas, man. Look at that. That's some time. The time then broke down over time and the leaves and going off of it. So I'm going to go ahead and take that out. But look at these black eyed peas, man. Got some onions, some garlic. Come on, man. Come on. They looking good, man. You want that juice because that juice tastes good on some rice. You can drink that juice. Drink the juice, man. 2023, drink the juice, man. Smoke meats. Keep it going. See, the one thing about peas is you can't put salt in there while they're cooking. So now we're going to go ahead and add my Lowry's in there. 
You don't want to put the salt in there because it splits the peas. The salt splits the peas. Chemical, man. That's the chemical romance of peas and salt. Also, this is what I use for my peas. From Trader Joe's, man. I told y'all I love Trader Joe's. We love Trader Joe's in this household, man. So I use a little bit of this. Because I ain't putting no meat in here. And this kind of gives it the meat that you need the flavor. I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you, man. Let me show you something. You see that ring? You see that smoke ring? That's what you're talking about, man. That's how we do it on smoke meats, man. Make sure you contact me, smoke meats, man. Smoke screen podcast, 91 smoke, man, on Twitter, dog, social media. Appreciate y'all, man. All right, now, now you seen the roast I got, the black eyed peas. I told you we working on size. This is my first time cooking greens, man. I just start liking greens, man. My wife cooked some last couple years ago, and they were so good. And I told her, you know what, man? I got to learn how to do this, too, dog. So here we go, man. I got some collard greens. I'm taking out the stems because I see you don't want the stems in your green to take a little longer. Now, I only watched one video with the greens. So let's go ahead and get it going. Now, I got my neck bones sitting here trying to get them on the wall so I can boil the meat down, man. Because I would have used a piece of meat that I had. I think she used a piece of meat one time that I did, but this time I ain't got no meat on me right now. Just the beef that I got for the roast. So we're gonna go ahead and use these pork neck bones from the store, man. Let them go on down. I seasoned it with a little bit of paprika. Watch that steam, man. Watch that steam. Some Trader Joe's. Put a little bit of this in there. Now you see them stems? That's exactly why you need to just go through your greens. I got the bad greens from Publix, BOGO. Shout out to BOGOs. But I got the bad greens. But that's why you got to go through your greens, man. And make sure you get those stems out. Because they take a little bit longer to do the stems to cook it down and get it soft, dog. So you want consistency in your food and your sides, man. Smoke screen podcast. Go ahead and let the uh, pork neck bones keep going. Then we're going to wash these down, put some salt on it, and let them sit for a little bit. Then we'll put them down in there and let them wither down. Put a little bit of chicken broth. No need to tell you. You'll see it. Less talking, more showing in 2023, man. Smoke meats. <laughs> About to give it up. Keep about to give it up. Keep it going, man. I got it on medium right now. Medium heat. Let it keep going and boiling over. Get that meat nice and tender, man. Falling off. Now, what I am going to do since this is almost done, I see people say they put a whole onion and just cut it up, but I'm going to use some chopped onion on there. Get that ready, man. And my greens, I mean, they bones are growing, man. They boil. As soon as you talk about them, they come up, man. <laughs> you see right there? It's where you want that water at. Now, you saw how high that water was before. Now, I didn't cook down. So, we're going to go ahead and put the greens in. Oh. All right, while we got the cornbread cooking, we're going to check the sides, man. Check the sides in the meal. So, here we are. We got the greens. Been going for about an hour with the, all the greens in here with the meat, man. Looking good. Looking pretty good for the first time. So let's go ahead and check the peas. Here we go with the black eyed peas. Okay. Nah, I'm, I'm a king with these black eyed peas, so this ain't nothing new right here. Peas looking real good, man. Onions looking good. Wife done tasting. She said they off the chain. She thought it was meat in it. You know it ain't no meat in here. You know it ain't no meat, man. Smoke screen podcast. Let's check the meat, man. Let's go ahead and check the meat. Wife done tasted some. She said it's off the chain, like I said. Man, that meat done. That meat really done, dog. That gravy looking good. I did put some flour in there to make the gravy. Thicken it up, man. Also, I ain't put that much flour because your potatoes, I already knew some of my potatoes going to break up. That starch going to break up in there and make that gravy just like that flour would, man. I told it's a science to this thing, man. It's a science to a smoke screen podcast, smoke meats. Next thing you see will be the final product, man. I appreciate y'all for rocking with me.
keep following me this month, this year, man. We just trying to do what we can do, man. Tallahassee, Florida, man. Smoke meats. If you ever need some, hit me up. 91 Smoke, man. Brandon, man. Appreciate y'all. One thing I forgot to tell y'all is we're going to add some of this smoked pepper sauce I made back in September. Add a little bit of this in here. And there we go. That's the final product, man. Smoked meats, man. Told you, got the sides. Got to work on them sides. Got the roast, the black eyed peas, the greens, the cornbread. Happy New Year, man. I can't call it. Appreciate y'all. Smoke meat. All great men must have their moments of relaxation. And the greater the man, the greater the moment. moment.